Hello, 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 guys. This is LCI on the mic. How are you today? Let's continue our story with Alan Wake. <clears throat> Logan? Logan! I need some bullets. Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. I need some bullets. I don't have. What was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is insane. Like a nightmare. Let me see what this man is all about. Need to find Nightingale. Okay. He's here, Nightingale. Yep, he's definitely here. Like they're coming in over a bad signal. Uh, yep, a bad signal. Signal like signal, but uh, what can I find some bullets? Okay. Nightingale's badge. I'm gonna take that and you will put that somewhere. This. Okay. okay, I can't play that. Thank you. 
bullets. I hope it should be enough. Set to find the light switch. Show me the clicker. Okay, he's close. Actually, very close. Fuck hello man. Come on, 
Vale, yo soy cabrón. to heal myself I hate him have killed myself yeah right in your dreams man Move, 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 move. in your freaking dreams man in your freaking dreams
Move, 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 move. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, from where? Yeah. Get to safety. Uh, run. I'm here. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm loading everything that I've got. Hello, Vishal. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, Vishal? How are you? Yeah, new game. Alan Wake 2. It's new for me. How many bullets does it take man, to kill one guy? In your freaking dream, man, in your freaking dream. Unbelievable man. How many bullets man? Oh man, I'm toasted. Run, run, run. Yeah, maybe 900 bullets. Who are you? What is this? Who are you? 
hear me? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? Not to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! It got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? Yeah, 13 years, so this is Alan Wake, guys. Okay, let's go to chapter 3. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then the flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? Okay, let me, let me no, investigate I here. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Should look around. Oh, With yeah. the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. Let's investigate. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. What's here? I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. And that animal, a deer or whatever that is. No, no, we sure didn't play the first part. I don't really know the story. So, uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, so this were... Uh, I came in the beginning of the game. Okay, can I go from here? No. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. Okay. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. Okay. So I found an evidence here. Are there any more evidence? Okay, let me heal. I... I wanted to play the first part, but... Uh, 
didn't have any money to buy the game so yeah I've played the second one bought this one didn't bought the first game Okay, he came from here. No, let me go back on the other side. There was also manuscript pages. Well, if you look very good you can find clues apparently so I have to look very good but I cannot go for there nothing here Nothing here. Let me go on the other side of the beach. No, 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 no. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? Yeah. What kind of case is this? Very good question. Well, apparently, there are some <coughs> clues that I didn't find. I need to find where are those clues? I only found two of them and apparently there are more than two. I cannot go here, I can get up. So yeah.
are turning into monsters. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Okay, so they are watching me. That ain't good. Followed every arrow here. What's here? Let's go on the bridge here and see where this leads us. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Somebody watching me.
what do I need to do here? Of course, it won't open. And what house is this? Oh man. All locked. Another one of those rhymes. Hello, Chris. Hello, my friend. How are you? Yeah, it's a good game, man. I enjoy it so far. How are you, Chris? Oh, good. I have some time. Some free time and uh, I'm streaming this game. Because uh, I finish up some things on my project earlier than anticipated and uh, now I have some time. But uh, this won't take long because uh, I'm gonna start the project in three days, two days maybe, I don't know, two or three days. And then I won't be able to stream anymore. But I will see, maybe I will make time. Yeah, it's great, but I don't um, have any more time to stream on YouTube and that sucks because I like to do that <laughs> and yeah Chasing me. Hmm. 
plus Yeah, yeah, I understand you, man. No worries, man. Uh, is this a riddle or something? Minus two. Plus three, plus two. I uh, have no idea, Chris. It's a riddle or something. Let me try and find out. Plus two. Another plus. locked box. I have no freaking idea, man. idea man oh yeah <laughs> I don't know I have no idea. So let me see, this is three. Six, six plus two, three, it's eight. Three plus three, six, and uh, let me see. This is seven minus two, five. So five, six, eight. Five, six, eight. Nope, it's not good. Hmm. So, yeah, finally. Good. Made it. I keep find keep finding this stuff here. Uh, 
the thing is I have to go on the beach and find the clues there but uh, accidentally take a wrong turn and uh, yeah I end up here and I don't know where I am and of those freaking wolves keep attacking me Ooh, I've been here another one of those lunch boxes I really hate those wolves. Oh man, I'm 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 so lost. I don't know where I am right now. I'm supposed to be on the beach. And I don't know where I am, man. What was that? This is the witch's hut. I know this. Okay, okay, we have company. Okay, I don't have any... I don't have enough ammo to kill that, uh, whatever that is. Should I, should I fight him? Or should I run? I should, I should fight him. Where is he? Okay. Now I have to run like crazy. What can I do with that? No freaking way, man! Run, run, run. I have to run, I don't have any more ammo to fight him. He is following me. I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Oh, man. Oh man, I have to go to the parking lot. I just uh, noticed that uh, I don't have any more bullets. Let me see where is the parking lot. Oh, 
Okay, the parking lot is here. So I can make a right turn. No, I can't. Because it's blocked. Oh, but I can make my way through here. I think, I don't know, maybe. Let's go. From, from here to here, okay, let's go. I hope I don't I don't encounter any more enemies because I don't have any more ammo. I have to head back. Got things to do. Really? You got things to do. You need to go to that car. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Oh man, where is that freaking parking lot? Came through here. Is there another way? Uh, maybe through here. been here let me see where I am okay. I'm very far away I have to go back Freaking freak is that? I think I've been here. Yeah. Okay, I have to go back, 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 back. From where I came from. I think it was from here. A fast travel system would be nice. Let's turn the flashlight off. 
So he won't see me. What's that sound? An alarm. Okay, it's so from the station. There's something that I can do here. Warning. Activity detected. A W E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an A W E? Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? <laughs> After in New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here and. Now we find our writer. How about that? Let's go up. Ready to go? Yep. Let's go. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now.
Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you I, write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. I remember. I remember. up in places with no memory of how I got in there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so humble okay you got me good prank very funny but yeah i sad to say i, I i've not written this I, i'd remember if i'd written a book right or maybe it was written by your evil double 
Hey, man, that is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alex. All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this sea ends. <laughs> Hello? Okay. I'm close to this. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. Yeah, something is not right. I don't have any flashlight. I don't have any guns. No, nothing. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Locked. Hello, Kaboom. How are you, my friend? I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Well, the game is good. You have to have a lot of patience to play it. Oh, you can play part one. I never played part one. It's good. I like it so far. A lot of mystery. Okay, I don't know the code. How do I supposed to get hey! out? I think I've been locked in. Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Yeah, we have Great. to find the code. You should play it if you want. I never played the. the let me see. Is there any you no? Know, the part one, and I think I'm. I don't know the entire story, but uh, yeah, looks like I found Ellen Wake after 13 years. This is Ellen Wake. Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Let's try 665. Six, 
no, 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 six, six, five, no, 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 okay, the door opened. There was something here, a broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? Very good question. A message? Impossible to say. Let me see. He turned off. Okay, 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 let me see what's here. Fast, my friend. I don't want to be killed. Oh no. This is the ritual to reach war. Nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. I had been writing. Initiation. You must write to escape. for mapping out a story on the index cards the nightmare that just happened to me a summary of the story so far but other notes as well warnings I had written them I couldn't remember what it all meant the name scratch filled me with dread I could trust these words I had to act on them you must write to escape and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Okay, I have to find a way to get out. Mine is locked. How can I get out? Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? Fine. I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? 
He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you've voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down the missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> okay. to go back of course this door is locked sexies six six five Really? So much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. 
I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egane. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Okay. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Flashlight would be nice. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Hmm. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again.
The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Police wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean, and a lake. That's not a lake. <sighs> yeah, this was a very long story. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I will uh, I will end the stream here. I think the game is safe. I don't know. Let me see. No, it's not. It's not safe. Holy smokes, man! It's supposed to be safe. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Is it? Can I get out? Yes, I can. Yes, I'm out. Okay. The phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Let's answer the phone. The dark place. Okay, so this is called the dark place.
Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got you now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. No bullets, no nothing. Let me see. Okay, I will... Uh, I will continue tomorrow, okay guys? I have no idea where to go. I will continue tomorrow. Take care and uh, yeah, stay safe. Bye guys.